Welcome to Mostly True Stories with Dr. Juan Harrison, a series of feel-good faith-based short stories from a Texan's perspective. Now here's Dr. Juan Harrison with today's story. Please enjoy. Jesus said, So then, because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. I can't think of anything good to say about lukewarm. I hate warm milk, coffee, Coke, Chinese food, and just about anything else to eat or drink that is lukewarm. Does anybody ever say, You know, I think I'll take a lukewarm bath? Think about people you know. Do you really look forward to conversation with a lukewarm personality? Another term for that person is bump on a log. We like people who engage us and inspire us, who challenge us and encourage us. We like passionate people who live zest. Lukewarm people come in all shapes and sizes. Some are 60 and some are 6. They may do just enough to keep their job, but not enough to run the whole place. They probably won't offend anybody. Then again, no one will probably remember them soon after they're gone. We're not talking about bad people. We're saying we only have one life to live. We're not all gifted speakers or firebrands, but a lukewarm person is lacking the spark that's needed to have a life of zest and vigor. The Beatles song about Eleanor Rigby, who lived an ignominious life, gives a picture of a person living life in half measures. Marriages can be lukewarm. They become routine. Passion is replaced with ordinary. We can live in the middle of it and not recognize it or be unsure about what to do to breathe life into it. Friendships can be lukewarm. They tend to just exist. You want that feeling of warmth or a giggle or just a good smile deep down when you think of certain friends. You love the fun and the feeling of emotions or quiet pleasure you get from a friend who brings out the best in you. Because they know you so well and they know the secret touchy spots, they can just bring out the worst in us too. A true friend knows enough to destroy you but won't. A lukewarm friend hardly seems to be worth the trouble at times. Organizations can also be lukewarm. Herb Keller of Southwest Airlines once said in looking for a job, if you enter a place of prospective employment and you don't hear laughter, turn around and go look somewhere else. Organizations have personalities like people do. You spend more time at work than at home. Don't spend your life in a place you can barely tolerate. As Herb noted, go where there is laughter and life, not lukewarm. Work where you find creative people with passion who don't just endure life, but they love life. The friendships you find there will be more than just lukewarm. They will help you develop into the person that you can be. This is Dr. Juan Harrison, and this has been a selection from my series, The Mostly True Stories of Dr. Juan Harrison. Find me on Facebook and my books on Amazon.com.